trigonometry. Practice set 6.1, part 2. Question 6, sub question 3. Prove that under root 1 minus sin theta upon 1 plus sin theta is equal to sec theta minus tan theta. Proof the denominator of the LHS is square root of 1 plus sin theta. Therefore, we need to multiply the LHS with its conjugate that is square root of 1 minus sin theta. LHS is equal to square root of 1 minus sin theta upon square root of 1 plus sin theta into square root of 1 minus sin theta upon square root of 1 minus sin theta which is equal to 1 minus sin theta upon under root 1 minus sin square theta since a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square which is equal to 1 minus sin theta upon under root cos square theta since 1 minus sin square theta is equal to cos square theta which is equal to 1 minus sin theta upon cos theta which is equal to 1 upon cos theta minus sin theta upon cos theta which is equal to sec theta minus tan theta since 1 upon cos theta is equal to sec theta and sin theta upon cos theta is equal to tan theta which is equal to RHS. Sub question 8 sec theta plus tan theta is equal to cos theta upon 1 minus sin theta. Proof LHS is equal to sec theta plus tan theta which is equal to 1 upon cos theta plus sin theta upon cos theta since sec theta is equal to 1 upon cos theta and tan theta is equal to sin theta upon cos theta which is equal to 1 plus sin theta upon cos theta which is equal to 1 plus sin theta upon cos theta into 1 minus sin theta upon 1 minus sin theta multiplying by 1 minus sin theta in numerator and denominator which is equal to 1 minus sin square theta upon cos theta into 1 minus sin theta since a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square which is equal to cos square theta upon cos theta into 1 minus sin theta since 1 minus sin square theta is equal to cos square theta which is equal to cos theta upon 1 minus sin theta by cancelling 1 cos theta from numerator and denominator which is equal to RHS. Sub question 9 if tan theta plus 1 upon tan theta is equal to 2, then show that tan square theta plus 1 upon tan square theta is equal to 2. Given tan theta plus 1 upon tan theta is equal to 2, squaring on both the sides we get tan theta plus 1 upon tan theta the whole square is equal to 2 square that is tan square theta plus 2 tan theta into 1 upon tan theta plus 1 upon tan square theta which is equal to 4. Since a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Therefore, tan square theta plus 2 plus 1 upon tan square theta is equal to 4. Since tan theta into 1 upon tan theta is equal to 1. Therefore, tan square theta plus 1 upon tan square theta is equal to 4 minus 2. Rearranging the terms. Therefore, tan square theta plus 1 upon tan square theta is equal to 2. Sub question 12 tan theta upon sec theta minus 1 is equal to tan theta plus sec theta plus 1 upon tan theta plus sec theta minus 1. Proof In this question, we must use a special method for proof. Since the question is on tan theta and sec theta, we can consider the identity 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta. Therefore, tan square theta is equal to sec square theta minus 1. That is, tan theta into tan theta is equal to sec theta plus 1 into sec theta minus 1. Since a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Rearranging the terms, we get tan theta upon sec theta minus 1 is equal to sec theta plus 1 upon tan theta. We know that using theorem on equal ratios, if a upon b is equal to c upon d, then a upon b is equal to c upon d is equal to a plus c upon b plus d. Therefore, applying it in the above equation, tan theta upon sec theta minus 1 is equal to sec theta plus 1 upon tan theta is equal to 
tan theta plus sec theta plus 1 upon sec theta minus 1 plus tan theta. Therefore, tan theta upon sec theta minus 1 is equal to tan theta plus sec theta plus 1 upon tan theta plus sec theta minus 1. Therefore, LHS is equal to RHS. Thank you for watching the Academic Squad.